Say, how many of you like the ocean? Show of hands. It's pretty wet. Huh? Well, how many of you like fishing? That's right, nobody. Because fishing is boring. Well, I don't know, Rabbit. It can be relaxing for some people. But how many of y y y you like fighting skeleton pirates on the back of Killer Whale? Hey. Ah, well, I know a guy who does that for a living. Oh, is it me? Uh, uh, no, it's not you, John. Oh. You don't have your sea legs for such an endeavor. Gotta trade in those bee legs. Uh, that was a pun. That was a pun. It's only the greatest sailor that ever set sail, Captain Albert Alexander. You have no idea who he is, do you? Well, let me explain. He's kind of like if you took the Hulk and the Spider-Man and somehow mutated them together into one entity. Oh, well, I love the amazing, incredible Spider-Hulk. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's called a hybrid. Well, Captain Albert Alexander wow. would totally beat that guy in an arm wrestling match. Yeah. Say what? I'm just saying. Say what? I'm just saying. Say what? When he was a boy, he wanted to play down by the sea. At age 13, every day after school, he would always sail around the lake. All the people would stand and stare as he sailed around with precision and care. The spike on the hat and the way he would stand, he looked just like a navy man. All the townsfolk would gather and say, and sing away, Captain Albert Alexander. He'll be a brave sea fair as some dinghy. Pop that Captain Albert Alexander. He'll go down in the waves. By age 24, he'd left the shore. And was sailing for the queen On a dark starry night Abbott awoke to the sound Of his captain screaming as he was drowned The navy crew was taking a lick A pirate had invaded the ship But Albert with one aimed harpoon Ignited their rum with a spark and soon Flames drove the pirates away The Navy sank Captain Albert Alexander Saved his crew from pirate slaughter But that Captain Albert Alexander He'll go down in the water Now everyone dance a Dance Twenty some odd years later, on a ship to see Slater, he sailed into a mass of blubber, gazing up to the sky, stood a large walrus. That was a hundred stories high. It meant no harm, the walrus was in a great deal of pain. It suffered from a tusk with tooth decay. How the crew is anchor around its tusk with a little bit of pulling, it was out by dusk. The walrus banged Albert and sang as it sailed away. Captain Albert Alexander, friend. And the me, but that Captain Albert Alexander, he'll go down in the sea. On a ripe old age, lightning struck from the sky and split Albert's vessel into one. 
hundred men fled for their lives on rafts across the ocean blue. Albert stood at the stern of his ship. A giant octopus had him in its grip. A vortex of spiraling death below ribs. And sharks and electric eels all made the trip to see Albert sink to the bottom of the sea. Just before he went down, he called out to his crew. It's obvious that my time has come. I'll let this ending in soon. I've lived an exciting nautical life, it would seem. And there's no better end than a death by the sea. His crew say, Captain Albert Alig Sander. He went down in the sea. But that Captain Albert Alec Sander He'll go down in his story Oh, up there, there, John, don't cry, it's, it's just a story huh? A real story that Captain Albert Alexander, he went down in the sea. I've got blisters on the roof.